Feel Good Breakfast Show Espresso on S3 and stained glass projects are inspiring and fun. And the words stained glass immediately, it conjures up images of cathedrals, churches, mosques, but not with our next guest. Now the words style and creativity come to play. Louise Jane is a master artist and craftsman, or should I say craftswoman, and she's joining us today to tell us more about the world of stained glass art. It's so great to have you here, welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I have to say, I have a love for stained glass art. I've got some in my apartment at the moment. Even though there's no color to it, it is such a beautiful and rare art. Because if you know, if one of the glasses break, you don't always find someone that can fix or replace it. But Louise, just to get a little bit more of an understanding of where your love for this art came from, who's, who's been your biggest inspiration and how long have you been doing this? So my biggest inspiration was actually my grandmother. She had a stained glass business for 25 years and I've been now doing stained glass for 12 years and everything I know I learned from my grandmother. And how old were you when you got to create your first piece with your grandma? Um, about 21. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so she didn't let you into the workshop too young. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, when it comes to um, glass stain work, and I know it's quite there's quite a delicate process to it, for those who have it or are interested in it, how do you take care of your your glass art? Um, I, you know, it's not that difficult to look after it. Um, obviously, it does need cleaning. Um, every now and then, it, it does obviously need re at some stage. Um, but there's normally about a 20-year lifespan on it. So it's more just keeping an eye on it. Obviously, don't let the door slam. Don't let the door um, slam, yes. That's yes. Uh, Cape Town wind. That uh, definitely uh, helps me a lot. Um, but, yeah, you just it's relatively easy to look after it. I love what you've also brought along for us. Let's talk through, because we a little bit later we'll be doing a little demonstration where you give us a glimpse of how you put your beautiful art pieces together but talk to me about this beautiful lamp that I'm seeing so this is what we call a fan lamp um, the, obviously the beautiful base um, all imported but obviously the lamp was made locally um, this is the copper foil method, and then I also do the traditional lead work. Okay, so what is the difference between the copper foil and the traditional lead? So the traditional lead is how your, um, your church windows are made, so with lead came. This is just made with a copper foil. Okay. And then soldered together. And then you do it all together. Yes. And talk to me about these little pieces here, because there's... This is something I suppose you can hang yes. in front of the so window. Yes, so those you can just hang in front of the window. Um, those are what I do in my one-on-one -on -one workshops. Then they also make a little sun catcher like that. Ah, this is so adorable. I can just picture someone that is obsessed with butterflies, um, someone that is, you know, wants some, something different. Yes. To just catch the light and get the colors into the room is absolutely incredible. Now, for someone that is interested in doing a workshop with you, they want to, they, they're fascinated with glass stain artwork, where can they get in touch with you? Do you offer lessons? I do, yes. So I've also been teaching for 12 years. So I do one on one classes, which is making a sun catcher, and then I also do full-time courses, which is starting from your basics right up until making Tiffany lamps. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, I have a very important question to ask you. What is your favourite design that you've made? So, my favourite design is abstract. Abstract. Uh, yes. Anything with random circles, swirls, that's my my favorite designs. Okay, okay, so anything abstract. Yes. Remember that, anything abstract is your favorite designs. Now, we did tease there's gonna be a little bit of a demo coming up. Can you tell me what we'll be making? Um, so we're just gonna make a little sun catcher. Um, I'm gonna show you how to cut, grind, and then copper foil, and hopefully get to the soldering. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. And is this quite a long process? Like, how long would it take you to make this butterfly? Uh, Someone like me that's with experience is a little bit quicker, um, but I, the class normally runs about three hours and then okay. you, can, you actually finish something in, within that time. Oh, fantastic. Well, Louise is not going anywhere. Stay tuned because we also have something fun and exciting for you and this is in the world of stained glass art. But that's not all. We have a competition going and that's thanks to Louise Jane's funky art glass workroom. That is a tongue twister. <laughs> Louise Jane's funky art glass 
room. And it, what I'm gonna do is, during the interview, Louise Jane mentioned her favorite paint design. Now, if you know the answer, head on over to our Facebook, I think I repeated it a few times, and tell us the answer, and who knows, you could be the lucky winner of a one-on-one -on -one workshop with Louise. And if you wanna get more information about the workshops that she offers, her handle is on your screen right now. You can contact her there. And of course, stay tuned, we've got a demo that we're gonna be getting into. It's my feel good birthday show. But we are now back with the skilled artist Louise Jane and she will be demonstrating to us how she comes up with one of her spectacular designs. And Louise Jane, she does use glass stain art, which is fantastic. Now, Louise, you've got your different panels of glass. Yes. And obviously, this is very delicate. Now, you've taken a piece and you've drawn out your design. The design, yes. So now I'm about to use my glass cutter. Um, the little cutter is in the middle there. And we're literally going to push down ah, and look cut at the that. glass. Okay, now it's obviously going straight is probably much easier than doing the curves. A little bit, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, obviously the, the straight lines are easier to do, but um, you can't do a full circle, so we will you just do it. Yes, so we'll just bit. do it bit by bit. And, and how often have you cut your fingers? Uh, into I was splinters. wondering if that was coming. I actually cut myself the other day. <laughs> so I'm actually hoping I don't do it right now. <laughs> so yeah, so there's your first piece that is cut. And now you obviously want to shape it and make yes. it smooth. Yes, so obviously this can still obviously cut your fingers and then when we do the next process of the copper foil, um, the copper foil won't stick until okay. we do this. So now we're just gonna... So you use the normal machine just to smooth it yes. out the edges. Yeah, so it's just to smooth it out, get rid of any kinks that's in it. If someone is ordering glass stained panels for their home, yes. windows, yes. is this something that you come to install ready-made, pre-made, or do you make everything on site? No, everything's made in my studio. Um, I obviously go and do uh, measurements, and then I install it as it's, it's complete, yeah. So, we're just gonna finish this. Okay. Amazing. So then the next step is to do the copper foil, which has got like a little bit of copper, a little bit of sticky back to it. Oh, and you just wrap it around. Oh, if it's going to work today. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, we, were, like luckily we already have some done. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we wrap this all the way around. And what is the, the, the purpose of the copper foil there? So this is how your next piece um, will stick together. Okay. Um, so when we put the flux on, it solders together and it holds it. Fantastic. So it's obviously not very neat. But you but would do that neatly and it will look Yes, like and that. it will look like this. Then what we do is put the two pieces together. We take some flux. And that's just the, the flux oil? Uh, yes, that's to make the copper and solder stick and and now this is where the magic comes, where you simply, oh, look at that. And there. This is so fascinating to watch. <laughs> actually using my wrong hand here. Yeah? Is that actually your, are you dominant or do you have a lefty? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> so obviously we would then finish it, go all the way around, but that, and then we obviously solder on the back, the back as, well. as well. Yes. Oh, fantastic! So you are using. How do you get it black like this? So um, it's called a patina, um, which you actually um, once this is done, we wash it, and then we use. It's actually blue, and it actually turns the silver black. Ah. Oh. And that's how we get the. That is absolutely fantastic. So, of course, if someone comes to you for one of the classes that you offer, the class is about three hours long, yes. and they'll learn all of these techniques. Yes. And they'll be able to walk away with a beautiful little something that they've made. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Well, don't forget that if you want to win yourself one of these stained glass workshops with Louise, all you have to do is head on over to our social media pages and tell us what design would you like to make? 
Now, also, you stand a chance to win yourself a one-on-one -on -one workshop with Louise Jane, and this competition will close today at 2 p.m. There are T's and C's that can be found on our website, expressoshow.com. And Louise, I just want to say thank you once again for coming and showing us this beautiful craft and art that you've created. And this one has to be by far my favorite. It's just a little glass dome. With a crystal inside. Can you just imagine putting this by your window and having the light catch and that just reflecting all over the floor, the walls, all over? It literally over. shoots rainbows everywhere. It shoots <laughs> rainbows. There we go. Well, Louise, Jane, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me. What an incredible day.